In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the elimination method to solve a system of two linear equations with integer coefficients. The goal of elimination is to multiply each equation by some number so that one of the variables cancels when we add. Right now, none of the variables will cancel if we add the equations. But we have a 2x in both of the equations, so if we multiply one of the equations by negative 1 and keep the other the same, then we can cancel. We'll multiply the top equation by negative 1, and we'll keep the bottom one the same. In other words, we'll multiply it by 1. So the top equation, when we multiply by negative 1, that becomes negative 2x plus y equals negative 1. And then the bottom equation becomes the same, 2x minus 3y equals negative 9. Now this negative 2x and this 2x will cancel when we add. That eliminates the x variable. And we're left with negative 2y equals negative 10. Solving for y, we find that y equals 5. Now we just need to solve for x. We can do that by plugging y back into one of the equations. Let's say the top equation. So 2x minus 5 equals 1. Solving for x, we get 2x equals 6, so x equals 3. And there we have it. Putting these solutions together, we find that the total solution of the system is 3, 5. Now let's do a tougher example. This system is a little bit trickier to solve because we don't have any of the same terms in both equations. Um, however, we have a negative 5y and a 2y here, and we can multiply both of these to get to 10y. This one can get to negative 10y, and that one can get to positive 10y. So let's do that. To get this one to negative 10y, we have to multiply by 2, and then we get 8x minus 10y equals 26. To get this equation to have a positive 10y, we have to multiply by 5, and then we have 15x plus 10y equals 20. Great, now we have negative 10y, positive 10y when we add the two equations. Those will cancel, and then we just have 23x equals 46. So x is just 2. Great, so we've got one of the variables, and now we can just put it back into one of the equations and solve for y. Let's take the bottom equation. How about, uh, so 3 times 2 plus 2y equals 4. So simplifying, 6 plus 2. 2y equals 4, 2y equals negative 2, y equals negative 1. Great, we're done. Um, our final solution then is then x equals 2 and y equals negative 1. The point 2, 1. Let's do an even harder example. This example is even harder because not only do we not have the same terms in both equations, but the equations are kind of jumbled up. The x isn't aligned with the x, and y isn't aligned with y. So our first step should be to rearrange the equations a bit to get them more organized. Let's put the x with the x and the y with the y. So let's move this 4y in the first equation over to the other side. Let's subtract 4y from both sides to get 5x minus 4y equals 7, and then Let's get this x, this negative 4x, on the other side of the bottom equation. Let's add 4x to both sides. 4x minus 6y equals 0. Okay, now our system is organized the way we're used to seeing it, and we can see that this negative 4y and this negative 6y, well, we can get them both to be 12y. Um, let's first get them both to be negative 12y, because that's that's easier. We just have to multiply this top equation by 3 and this bottom equation by 2. So multiplying the top by 3, we get 15x minus 12y equals 21. 
multiplying the bottom by 2, we get 8x minus 12y equals 0. Now we can multiply one more time because we want one of these 12s to be a positive 12 and the other to be a negative 12. Why don't we make the bottom one be a positive 12? So we'll multiply by negative 1 here. So you get negative 8x plus 12y equals 0. And then in the top, we'll multiply by 1, keep it the same. 15x minus 12y equals 21. Perfect. Now we have our negative 12y and a positive 12y. And when we add, those will cancel. We'll eliminate y and we'll just have 7x equals 21. So x equals 3. And then we just have to substitute that back into one of the equations. Let's just take the bottom equation. So 4 times 3 minus 6y equals 0. 12 minus 6y equals 0. Negative 6y equals negative 12. y equals 2. Awesome. We've got our final solution. It's x is 3, y is 2. The big advantage to elimination over substitution in particular is that in substitution, if we tried to do this system by substituting, we'd end up with a lot of fractions and that would lead to somewhat messy computations. But with elimination, we're just multiplying by whole numbers. We don't have to worry about fractions at all. And that keeps our computations really nice and easy to solve.